All right. Now, let's have a little fun here tonight. Let's do the show that I was planning on right up till September 10th. And it starts by me explaining to you, me explaining to you that uh, I don't, a lot of you know this already, I don't talk about myself very much in my shows. You know, it's really not my style. But I had an incident in traffic recently that I think I ought to tell you about. And there are a couple of things about me you ought to know first. I drive kind of recklessly, I take a lot of chances, I never repair my vehicles, and I don't believe in traffic laws. So, yeah. so I tend to have quite a high number of traffic accidents. And last week, I either ran over a sheep or I ran over a small man wearing a sheepskin coat. And I don't know because I didn't stop. I do not stop when I have a traffic accident. Do you? Huh? Do you? No, you can't. Hey, who has time? Not me. I hit somebody. I run somebody over. It's... I keep moving. Especially if I've injured someone. I do not get involved in that. I'm not a doctor. I've had no medical training. I'm just another guy out driving around looking for a little fun and I can't be stopping for everything. <laughs> well, let's just look at it logically. Let's be logical about it. If you do stop at the scene of the accident, all you do is add to the confusion. These people you ran over have enough troubles of their own without you stopping and making things worse. Leave these people alone. They've just been in a major traffic accident. The last thing they need the last thing they need is for you to stop and get out of your car and go over to the fire, because by now it is a fire. And start bothering them with a lot of stupid questions. Are you hurt? Well, of course they're hurt. Look at all the blood. You just ran over them with a ton and a half of steel. Of course they're hurt. Leave these people alone. Haven't you done enough? For once in your life, do the decent thing. Don't get involved. Well, in the first place, it's none of your business. None of your business. The whole thing took place outside of your car. <laughs> Legally speaking, these people you ran over were not on your property at the time you ran them over. They were standing in the street that is city property. You are not responsible. If they don't like it, let them sue the city. And besides, it happened back there. It's over now. Stop living in the past. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, count your blessings, be glad it wasn't you. And I'll give you a practical reason not to stop. You need a practical reason? If you do stop, sooner or later the police are going to show up. Is that what you want? Huh? Waste even more of your time standing around filling out forms, answering a lot of foolish questions, lying to the authorities? And by the way, who are you to be taking up the valuable time of the police department? These men and women are professionals. They're supposed to be out fighting crime. Stop interfering with police. And besides, didn't anyone else see this accident? Huh? Are you the only one who can provide information? Surely the people you ran over caught a glimpse of it at the last moment. So let them tell the police what happened. They were a lot closer to it than you were. There's no sense having two conflicting stories floating around about the same dumbass traffic accident. Things are bad enough. People are dead. Families have been destroyed. Time to get moving. Now, on the other hand, on the other hand, if I should be out driving around looking for a little fun and I see an accident, one that I'm not involved in, I stop immediately. <laughs> well, I want to get a good look at what's going on. I enjoy that sort of thing. Someone else is injured, I want to take a look. I am Curious George. You know? But people don't like that. Police don't like it. They say you're rubbernecking. They say you're blocking traffic. <laughs> never mind that shit. I want to take a look. I'm never too busy that I can't stop to enjoy someone else's suffering. And I'll tell you something else. I'm a big fan of traffic accidents. You know my favorite accident? Two buses and a chicken truck. 
get hit by a circus train in front of a flea market. Well, I want to see something interesting. I'm looking for a neck sticking out of a gas tank. If I'm going to take the time to stop, I expect a couple of fucking laughs. And if my car should happen to be in such a position where I can't quite see what's going on, can't get a good enough look, I'm not the least bit shy about asking the police to bring the bodies over a little closer to the car. Pardon me, officer, would you fellows mind dragging that twisted-looking chap over here a little closer to the car, please? My wife has never seen anyone shaped quite like that. Look at that, sugar lips. That's his rib cage sticking out of the glove compartment. Thank you, officer. That will be all now. You can throw him back on the pile. We'll be moving along. And off I go out onto the highway, looking for a little fun. Perhaps a tanker truck filled with human waste will explode in front of the Pokemon factory. 